says one more thing to me. If he calls my name out <laughs> one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna punch his ass. Not not slap him, not claw at him. I'm going to I'm going to punch his ass. Double Toasted live in Las Vegas. That's going to be October 8th. Back in 1981, there was a groundbreaking film that wanted to deliver a message about living in peace and harmony with some of nature's most beautiful animals most of which resided in Africa. Instead, the movie gave a good argument for why these animals must be destroyed. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? That you can have lion socializing with people? No, but we can't keep exterminating. You're thinking to yourself, how beautiful. And yeah. what a great it's message like right there. Yes, yes. <laughs> No, people, and I, I don't mean that. I don't mean that these animals should be destroyed. I'm an animal person. I love animals, which is why I'm very disturbed by this movie, because once you watch this movie, you like, kill all of them, man. <laughs> 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 they gotta go. Yeah, they, they gotta go. It's, it's just more of a why would you gather all them together and then stay amongst them? Yeah, yeah people, this is the movie's called Roar. 1981. First of all, the movie had people wondering about it because just the, the, the big names behind it Melanie Griffith, some of you might know. Your grandmother might, our grandfather might know Tippi Hedren, who is and sort of another killer animal movie back in the day, which we'll talk about in a minute. The, the, this. the mother and grandmother of Dakota Johnson. There you that, go. That, there that you means go. something to you. There right? you go. Kids are like, no, that don't mean shit. To <laughs> yeah. But the other thing is that people heard about this. They, they, the people behind this movie, they were making it because they wanted to actually say, listen, you know, the, we want to protect these animals. We want to actually show people how beautiful these Jesus. animals are. Yo. And it was the most horrifying thing some people had seen. <laughs> it just showed how how frightening these animals are. And it's not by any fault of the animals themselves. No, no. What, no. Th this movie is known for bringing in a bunch of species of, of, of large cats and putting them all under one roof. And this shit ended up being like a prison yard or something, man. It's like, the it, like, like as you would expect when you get like... <laughs> When you get several, probably 100 or 70 or 200 big cats together in one place, yeah, what would you expect? Chaos. Yeah, it's just fight. funny because it's supposed to be a lighthearted family film. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? This is uh, uh, this is some Joe Exotic shit. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. This is Joe Exotic on meth. No, Joe Exotic. That's He's Joe Exotic. Right. No, no. Yeah. This is Joe Exotic <laughs> on more meth. <laughs> and a few other things. Crack, speed, cocaine, and everything else. Throw some catnip in there if you want to. It's so you know with this movie, it's considered to be one of the most dangerous film shoots ever because, as I said, you bring all these animals under here, and something's gonna happen. People are gonna get hurt. These animals are gonna get hurt. And yet, the most respectful and admirable thing about this movie that never let them stop them. They said, F it. "These animals out of control." Film it. Yes. Make it part of the movie. Took them ten years to make it because people kept getting hurt and mauled. Yeah. And that's what then that's what they want you to think. Somebody got killed. Somebody got eaten. They just don't want you to know. It, it is like watching a virtual snuff film. Yeah. This that, whole thing. Yeah. That's what they. If somebody described this, they had some. They had some. I didn't want to show the trailer because I don't want them to reveal everything we're going to talk about uh, when we start showing and, and talking about the movie. But it's been described as, as a. Uh, uh, a Disney snuff film. Uh -huh. It's been descri described as the Lion King if Mufasa had a switchblade to your throat. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, I didn't think of that. That was a blur from like, con like Cinemascope. As I don't know. It was some, somebody said it. Whoever, whoever said that, kudos to you because that is exactly what this shit is right here. Yeah, this is insane, y'all. It is unique in the world. Yeah. You never see anything like it. You would no, people when they say movies that you will never see anything like and probably never see again, Roar. Roar is one of them. It's a, it's an amazing film. And I'm gonna tell you, this this movie's crazy before we even this movie's crazy before we even get into the lines, man. Movie's already out of his mind. We got a song singing the praises of the motherland, Africa. 
sung by the whitest of white dudes. <laughs> 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 Whose land is this? That bitch ain't even been to Africa. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, but it's planning to take it. Yeah, he's been, yes. <laughs> gonna uh, colonize it. Ah, <laughs> uh, the gentle sounds of colonization. All right, all right. Brought to you by Guy Whitey. <laughs> Guy Whitey <laughs> Jr. Yeah. And just like with Congo, man, I, 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 I told y'all, I, to, I, to, I told y'all this is the pattern. I told y'all they do this just like with Congo to let you know that this is Africa. The movie got to start with, with, that, with that black around shit, you know, just black people, just, you know what I'm saying? Just yes. black people just standing around looking at all these white people with all this wonderful technology. And they always try to make the, the black people just look stupid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, just, just to let you know that this is how far behind Africa right, is. Right, right. Just to let you know that Wakanda shit ain't real, all right? <laughs> and, but the, I tell you what's going on with this, though. So this is the early 80s. So they go old school with that black people looking around shit. This is back when you couldn't show Africans without showing them with flies all over them and shit. <laughs> you know, like them commercials of starving kids and everything. They never took you to the urban areas that they had over there. Well, I know what it is. Like the flies off the, the head. Those are the, <laughs> the Maasai warriors. And my, my, my wife spent time in Africa about 10 years ago, and she got to spend the day with them. She, they all have cell phones. Yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I, I was yeah. just about to make that yeah. joke. Like, yeah. they'll pull out a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. And like I tell you, of course they use they use this to set up the authenticity of Africa before we ship to the white people. <laughs> you know, they always tell you, hey, look, hey, look, we really here, we're really here, we're really here, <laughs> half dressed Re Negroes, real, real authentic black people with yeah. flies on them and everything, just to let you know we here in staffs. In the moon, so here we ship to the white people, a white person rather, a guy named Hank. He's on, he's. <laughs> Thanks to Hank, oh good, good old Hank. Thanks to Hank, we wouldn't have this movie, man. If it weren't for Hank, we wouldn't have this right here. This wonderful motion picture. Uh, he's he played in Africa and all the lines, single-handedly. Single-handedly okay. played, and he's played by Noel Marshall. He loves getting them riled up. You know, like every time an animal sees this dude, they're like, "Oh, here comes this." Yeah. <laughs> you know, because they, because if that's, <laughs> oh, here comes, here he oh, comes. God shit, damn. it comes. This Every don't, time they, don't, don't look at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time you hear that motorbike, like, ah, damn it, it'll come man, once again. Cause, and they don't have to look at it, because they try not to. But if they, if they, look, if he sees animals gathered up in a herd, he got to ride right, right through them. Right <laughs> oh, they're like, ah, damn, man, go around. Go around. Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, everything. Shit, if this, if it's, it, he don't give a f birds, you think, well, cause birds are easy. He don't, mess, he don't mess with wild beasts like that. The f he don't. <laughs> yeah, he can't, he can't even leave the giraffes alone, man. There's a whole herd of giraffe that, what I'm saying was shit. Maybe if I leave, maybe if I leave the pack, then he leave me alone too. That, no. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Giraffe was like, man, I was minding my own business, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, where you going? Hey, I'm getting away from yours, Hank. <laughs> you see when you peel off like that, he sees you. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the giraffes are like, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Go over oh, there and distract him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No Jeffrey. One. We don't like Jeffrey anyway. <laughs> yeah, go yeah, 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 Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, go towards us, my. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want to grow up. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all, all these animals. You got you to gotta get them all riled up, man. Ah, damn, I was minding my own business, man. <laughs> so you no wonder these lines go crazy, man. And that's where we finally do get to these lines. You know, uh, um, we get to the lines and immediately they start losing their shit. <laughs> and and Hank, Hank tries to, here's a funny thing, Hank tries to blame it on this one on this one bully line named Togar. Yeah. Yeah, this is Togar. Togar. Togar, who is frightening. I ain't gonna lie. Togar is like a serial killer. Every time you see him, he's covered in he, blood. Togar is always covered in blood. <laughs> Every time you see Co uh, Togar, he's come from killing something or somebody. Always covered in blood. And don't give up. No. Right. Wait, waiting. And hate, and hate Hank. He hates Hank. <laughs> he just waits for Hank to talk shit. Oh, my. What are you doing? What's that rogue Togar doing here? 
You say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to leave until you got to open up your, da- your goddamn mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's horrifying, you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always covered leave. in blood, man. I was about to leave. I was about to leave, and then you had to start talking shit again, Hank. <laughs> you realize, like, man, why you say his name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just about to leave. <laughs> What's that asshole doing here? Oh, oh okay, all right, all right. You want to talk oh, shit? All right. Oh, I'm the asshole. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. All right, I was about to leave. <laughs> Toga loves to start shit, but here's the thing. Right. Toga comes messing with these lines. And he's like, but all these lines are crazy. They're insane. Like the, like the pride, instead of like saying, let's all work together to, to kick Togar's ass, uh-huh. Togar goes over there and starts some shit like prison rules or something. He goes, <laughs> on, he goes over there because the whole thing is, Togar comes in and says, who's the, who's the leader around here? Who's running shit? I want to talk to him. Yeah. And he finds leader the pack. <laughs> he goes in and starts beating his ass. <laughs> but when he starts beating the leader's ass, everybody else jumps in and starts beating the leader's ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute, goddammit. He ain't, hey, 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 what the fuck, yo, hey? Well, you, I'm on y'all side. <laughs> you see, the one was like, no, no, never mind. I got to give you. You got to yeah, yeah, yeah. something on him. Yeah. Like, beating the leader's ass and everybody. Just, like, I want you, in case you think I'm mistaken, I want y'all to keep track. I want you, you can't miss Togar because he got blood all over his face. And he's bigger than everybody. Yeah, he's... wearing blood like his pomade and shit on his man. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. Yeah. Meat all on his fucking, uh, on his ears and everything. <laughs> y'all watch this again and keep track of who Togar is and who the leader is and who everybody starts jumping on at the Togar attacks. Look at these, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, 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 I'm wait, sorry, wait, man. Wait. I got caught up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Togar walked off already. Togar go. Yeah, my work here is done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. It's prison rules over there. Shit, it, that was a riot. It was a prison riot. They just wanted to. Hit, them lines just wanted to hit anybody. Yeah, and and the fun and the funny thing is, <laughs> I'm gonna fight today. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Meanwhile, like I said. Hank ain't ain't helping at all, man. He, he, the reason why these tigers are just are these lions and tigers just fighting each other because Hank comes in and is always keeping them riled up. Okay, come on, let's play chase. You see that? They were cool before. Yeah. They yeah. were all mellow. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. He gets them worked up because they were mellow. But it's just it's just so many of them it's, in it's, one place. It's, and, and, see, you, and you don't mix tigers and lions. No, you don't. And, and leopards. Yeah, and that's the thing. You look at yeah, cheetahs and everything. There's everything. Yeah. Look at them. This this man, he like you go to that house and you see it's full of everything. If it's a cat, he's got it. Lions, tigers, panthers, leopards of all sizes. And and that's when you realize. That's when you realize this son of a bitch. He's a crazy cat lady. Uh huh. Except yep. his cats are five hundred pounds and eat people. Yeah. Like he had, <laughs> and he has more cats than a cat lady does. Yeah, even, even the craziest of cat ladies doesn't have that many house cats. Oh, yes, exactly. A woman don't have that many house cats. Meanwhile, he got a hundred lions up in his house. Be uh, careful of the bad and enjoy the good. So was there in there? Yeah. Eat up, boys. Ain't, ain't no ain't offense or nothing, huh? No. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm gonna go back inside. No. Enjoy the bad with the good, and sometimes no. the bad is you die. Yeah, everything's a game to to Hank right here. Uh, you know, because he's doing that white people shit, talking about, no, you don't understand. These are my friends, <laughs> <laughs> not not animals. This is I'm taking care of, not pets. No, these 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 are my friends, and he's saying that shit the whole time. These are my friends, while the whole time they beating his ass. <laughs> it's just playing. I'm telling you. But you could get kids. The cat's got a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> Recruit that tiger to the NFL, man. <laughs> was that a tiger or a lion? No, I, shit, it was a blur. I couldn't tell. Yeah, oh my God. I, I think it was both. <laughs> man, <laughs> but that, was, that was a good block. Yeah. Knocked the wind out of the That was a good it. tackle. Yeah. Knocked the words out of the mouth. <laughs> the whole time we talking about, they're just playing. You're just old. <laughs> it's just playing, I'm telling you. 
But you could get cats. The cats got a little excited. <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh, no. That was definitely my screen. That was something important. Yeah, they were. See, they playing with Hank. Because they let they, they let Hank know. They said, yeah, you, you, you think you in control, but you ain't controlling shit. Are you okay? Mom, you look crazy. <laughs> yeah. Shit, they are they're just playing with their food right now. Yeah. Shit, catch one of them, catch one of these 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 lines one day when they miss snack time. <laughs> sure. I mean, you think about Siegfried and Roy with Manticore. They're, yeah. They're trained tiger that they to, had to since the he was nine strange. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then one day Manticore said, nah, f Roy, yeah. I had enough. Yeah. <laughs> I've, been, I've been putting up with your shit for years, like, on and a, I'm sick of it. On a dime, just like one one minute he's happy, and the next he's like, yeah. nah, yeah. fuck you. Yeah, and, and it's not even like the tiger. Maybe the tigers are, and the lions, maybe they are cool. I, I, I get it. I'm not one of these people who say, you know, kill them because, no. I need to be hunted down, or I, 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 I fear them. No, the thing is, man, okay, you got a cat, some of you out there. Think about when you rub your cat one day and you just rub a cat in that place that cat don't like it. That cat turns yeah. around and just slightly. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, yeah, you, these animals are so powerful that yeah. sometimes they don't know their own strength. Oh, exactly. Even yeah. when they're playing. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You're watching this and it's like they're playing, but yeah, they weigh 500 pounds and just one swipe, swipe. or just, you know, biting on you what they think they're playing, that's that's your ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That might have been what happened yeah. with Roy. Yeah. yeah, it's just you know, and they don't. They just don't know, man. And I think even with Roy, the tiger, the lion, whatever, just tiger, the tiger, just didn't you know, just didn't know. You know, sometimes I mean, we all shit, we all bumping the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we ain't got claws and weigh five hundred pounds. Yeah, but yeah, uh, lions and tigers and all these animals, they aren't domesticated. Maybe <laughs> even in maybe even maybe Hank could get this under control. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they, I just, maybe, maybe Hank could actually pull it off. Maybe just get rid of some of them and you know, maybe buy some more space or something. Maybe he could pull this off. But that goddamn Torg, <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's, he's the one that shows Hank, you ain't controlling shit around here. Torg, Torg, that goddamn Torg. Even if Tank had control of the situation, even if everything was cool, Torga would not let it stay that way. When he shows up, all those lines stop giving a f about anything. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me see. We oh, where are you? There it is. Yeah, he, when Torga shows, as we just saw, Torga shows up. All those lines lose their goddamn minds. They don't care about anything, including Hank. <laughs> yeah, he like, this don't concern you, Hank. Yeah. I get the <laughs> f out of here. <laughs> and then he went, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we put up with your shit every day, Hank. This ain't your problem right now. Get the f back. <laughs> and all the way, <laughs> Hank still think he run his shit. I know, right. Hide, hide behind leaves. Yeah, high stepping. Because it's always this thing going, I uh, know. Hey! 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 You want to? You want to tell him? Or you want me to tell him? I got oh, this, man. Get your yeah, I got this. I'm not gonna tell you again. I'm sorry. I, I, I got this. Your ass back. I said, get back. I said, get your ass back. I ain't afraid of the water. Torga is really getting tired of Hank. Torga was, he, he said, if this mother says one more thing to me, if he calls my name out one more time, I'm going to punch his ass. Not, not slap him, not claw at him. I'm going to, I'm going to punch his ass. Look at him. There he is. I told you, my. Bam! And that's there too. You ain't got to do like that, too, God. You brought that shit on yourself, Hank. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know, cause, cause these lions and tigers and 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 leopards and ligers are. 
they just took over the movie. Ugh. They just <laughs> like the way they take it over these houses <laughs> and these people. They took they just took over the movie and lost their minds even more. This, there's this committee that shows up that's concerned about the the safety of so many animals on on on, on uh, Hank's property right here. And these animals, they, I don't know if they overheard what the committee was saying, <laughs> and what, but they uh. they don't they do not like the committee, man. And at first, it's kind of comical because again, it's just it's just comedic chaos. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I think of your boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just get on the boat and just sink it. They just sit there to the sea. <laughs> I know, I know. Just, just looking at them the whole time. <laughs> yeah. What you going to do? <laughs> but, but, and they're playing. So they're actually playing, but, but hey, you know, I told you, these lions and tigers, and the plan gets, starts to get a little rough. <laughs> they start getting ganged up on. Yeah. And, and there's one chick, she's like, what the, where the, is Hank. <laughs> Hank. Oh. Hank is like, oh yeah, I forgot y'all out here. And now, Hank could have had it. Hank probably could have got control of everything. But then one of these fools makes the mistake of thinking he can fight back. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. and that just that just escalates the situation. <laughs> he tried to throw blows and shit, and that's when that's that that's when the other tiger said, "All right, we were just playing, but you want to get real now, okay? So, all right, all right then, all right, sh shit is on." <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, 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 I love the way he was just waiting. To yeah, too. Like, no, no, you had something to say. <laughs> Y'all want to play, huh? <laughs> like I said, shit. Don't worry about you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I want to come out here and make a movie. Let's make a, let's make a goddamn movie. <laughs> I'll see you, man. Come here. Come here, bitch. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> these 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 two dudes show up that are poachers and. And they come up talking all the, you know, talking all this uh, hunting and selling skins type stuff. And, uh, and so that's when the tiger said, you know what? We never liked your ass in the first place. We can't keep eliminating their land. Let the zoos keep them alive. All right, bitch. We remember that. And so those, <laughs> those tigers, <laughs> they said, all right, you know what? <clears throat> when the shit goes off, we gonna make sure we f you up. And they do hard. You talking all that shit earlier, huh? Look at him to the football yeah. block. Look at him. Yeah, do <laughs> you, you say about the zoo, huh? Huh? No but, man thought he had it too. Yeah, he was. I'm, oh. Yeah. <laughs> shit, I'm there. Look at him. He, he, he even knew he was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. You got, you got me. Sure. Okay. Uh, man, well, it's like, it's now, like he's right? trying to do the Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They've been told the lots of raptors. <laughs> Saw this in Jurassic Park. It works. <laughs> they nearly scalped one of these guys. And I like Hank because because they ain't like, oh, ain't nothing wrong with you. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? All you got's a few scratches. <laughs> yeah, oh man. <laughs> Here's where I got to stop and point out. <laughs> that 40 seconds into the movie, they proudly displayed the American Humane Association symbol oh. <laughs> it's, 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 and said that it is with great pride that we display the seal of the American Humane Association. Although some scenes appear to show animals being injured, they were never actually hurt because they were too busy attacking humans. <laughs> People, this makes me nervous. Man. <laughs> crew and actors got seriously injured on this movie, as you can guess. Now, most of you've already you've already know about this movie, you've already read about it and everything. But watching this, and this is my first time seeing it in its entirety, uh, it's hard to tell what where the fake blood stops and the real blood begins. Yes, because one, when I went to see it at that screening, it was a press screening early in the morning at Fantastic Fest. I was like one, maybe two people in there. And I sit down and it said, no animals are harmed in making this movie. 
However, we can't say the same for the actors <laughs> and the crew. Um, but yeah, throughout this movie, you see the actor who plays Hank. Uh, he's got this this wound on his hand that never stops bleeding. Yeah, they, and they just I, keep yeah. changing out the bandage. And I don't Damn. know if it's that was, was that was a thing. Now they never like in a movie if you bleed on the hand they're gonna write that into the story because mm-hmm. a lot of movies just ain't smart enough to like have an injury and just let it slide. So I think that Hank got really injured and I and I think that that's his real blood you see here. And you see a little bit on his hand right there, but there's another scene where it's. It is, it is bleeding yet yeah, profusely. Well, oh, are you hiding here? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you just see blood squirting out and limbs and organs <laughs> coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like sausages. And the thing is, it's not just that it's, it's covered in blood, but he's holding it like it's injured. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah exactly. He's holding it like it's injured. And he's around getting clawed by all these, these animals that been rolling around in dirt. So you know it's getting infected. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm not gonna read the whole thing here, but this is from Wikipedia, and you can read this, and it'll tell you about how everybody got everything from like several stitches for several uh, uh, wounds, but also people were getting gangrene. People Oof. almost people almost lost limbs. Dang. Well, you got yeah. dirty water too yeah. there. And yeah. You got open wounds, and you can't be getting in the water. So, you know, <clears throat> like that's not treated or whatever. Yeah. Right. Let me see here. Wound, yeah. uh, the guy that plays Hank. Uh, he was also diagnosed with gangrene after being attacked many times. It took Marshall several years to fully recover from his injuries. During a promo shoot in 1973, Hedron was bitten in the head by a lion, whose name was Cherries, whose teeth scraped against her skull. She was taken to Sherman Oaks Hospital where her wounds were treated and she was given a tetanus shot. Uh, she was admitted to Antelope Valley Hospital after Timbo, the five-ton elephant, picked her up and fractured her ankle. Oh, with this trunk. That's in the movie. Yeah. Uh, that, actually, that, and that's not the only case of gangrene. There were some other people who got gangrene. Who got cangre- gangrene. Uh, shit, I ain't even heard of. Fl- uh, phlebitis. <laughs> Phleb- phlebitis. F- phlebitis. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's something with the blood. Yeah. Uh, Probably blood poisoning. Oh. People had. Here's one. Some dude got eight puncture wounds on the leg. After the lion was curious about his anti-reflection makeup, he'd already been, uh, um, oh, that's the same guy, Marshall. He'd already been bitten around 11 times. Uh, Right before this, they talk about how somebody had 27 stitches in their head or something. It's insane. The the director. The director. Oh, so Jesus. Yeah, this guy was, (laughs) this guy was, this guy has the most dedication to a film I've ever seen. I mean, I'm I'm not even being, I'm not being a smart ass here. I was like, wow, because that, any normal person would have quit. Sure. Yeah, the actors too. Like, yeah, eleven times. You bet. You did once. Where it was a close call. I'd be like, that's it for me, y'all. Yeah. But, but it's all family. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because uh-huh. Tippy <laughs> Tippy Hedren was married to Frank Marshall. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, was, the, the director. And, and everybody's oh, everybody's using their names in here. Melanie Griffith is using her name, Melanie. Yeah. yeah. And the and then yeah, the two stepsons. <laughs> you know, you after hearing about all these injuries, you can see why. Because even when nothing's going on, these animals never stop fighting, man. They are always going at it. And it's mainly because it's too crowded. It's, it's just too much stuff going on right in, in this place. Like, you go in there, you go into Hank's home, and you just see that lions on, are, they're stacked on top of each other, just fighting. <laughs> It's like these lions are living in the projects or something. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> five to a room and shit. And every shirt Hank wears gets ripped up. It, he goes to this movie, just his shirts are just torn <laughs> the whole time. It's a part. I don't think he. There's a part in here, and you can see it. He's just running around in, in his in his drawers because I don't think I think he ran out of pants <laughs> yeah, to wear. Right. Yeah. I think they tore up every pair of pants he had. <laughs> he just has drawers. On. Yeah, just run around his drawers. <laughs> I would say the only one in the movie with any sense. Is 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 the black guy, Matavo. Yeah, Ma- this is this is Matavo, and that's his actually real real last name, Matavo. Uh you see Matavo in the trailer. Matavo looks like he's the only one with any kind of sense in this movie. Come on, you gotta help me clean the house. Mm, not today. No <laughs> devil. <laughs> it is funny because he says not today, and the Hank is like, all right, we'll keep your ass outside with these man eaters in. Not my jacket. He just got a good look. 
Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hank said, you going to get your ass off that boat one way or another. you going to help me yeah. clean today. Are you, are these damn, damn animals be cleaning your bones later. These panthers going to be here. He said, I'll just leave you two black dudes to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want to clean, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just hang with your homies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He stays confused, man. He goes through he goes through most of his movie, of course. He's pretty the much. only voice of yeah. reason. In this yeah, whole he, thing. he goes his whole movie just pretty much saying you white people are crazy. Come on, Diane. Come on, Diane. Come on, Michael. Come on, Patrick. <laughs> he's just like the f- man. He's also like he's like you. You get like you get new ones every week. <laughs> Hank is like my sister. My sister collects. My sister collects dogs. When I go over to the house, it's, it's, I'm gonna make a movie about my sister called Bark. <laughs> you go over there, like her, the dogs have taken over her living room. You should show her this movie. <laughs> yes, this, see, this could happen to you because she already got one. Acts like a lion hates uh-huh. everybody. My sister's dogs have taken over the living room. I'm not lying, and they're big. And now, now I go over there. It makes me think of this movie right here. Right. I'm looking at her. You were crazy. <laughs> so, what wrong with you? Yeah, man. Uh, but Matavo, thing is, I say he got sense, but Matavo, he he keeps letting Hank pull him into this shit, man. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see here. Yeah, Matavo, he, he just allows Hank to just keep pulling him into the Maybe dunk. he feels like, if I don't say something, this guy's going to die. Yeah, say something like, I got to go. <laughs> And don't come back, because Hank's gonna get this man killed. Hank just keeps uh, somehow. Hank keep, keeps pulling him back into this dumb shit. Oh, what do I do now? Just stand up to him. Don't let him get away with anything. Gotta let him see how strong you are. Come on, lion. Do what? Yeah, you and your mind, man. And and I think mostly it's because Hank is just him. Uh, like there's something you saw uh, Motivo, or Motivo, whatever Motivo, talking about his jacket. Like that leopard wanted that black, oh, that Black Panther wanted uh-huh. his, wanted his jacket so bad. It's something about when when uh, Motivo enters the room, all these animals just want his clothes, man. They want his jacket he so must bad. Have beef jerky in the yeah. pockets. Yeah. Come and help me. Like, I think Hank put ham slices in the pockets <laughs> and just fucking with him. Hank is always just laughing. That whole ragged ass jacket. And the jacket's torn. Yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. It's yeah. all but it. Nah, but Debo, that's my lucky jacket. <laughs> I needed my jacket. Shit. I love they, they, Throughout the movie, like this, they take a scene like that, and the music is. And I was like, this is not right. funny. But Tebow was not feeling that way at the time. Because Hank is always doing this man dirty. Like, I, that, that is why Hank keeps him around, because Hank gets. He gets Matibo to do all his dirty work. Like, there's a part where Hank cannot, he has to go to the hospital, or not to the hospital, the airport, to pick up his family, uh, Tippy Hedren and the gang. And he can't take, these tigers want to follow him. And he says, they're going to follow me to the to the airport. I, I can't do that. So what I need for you to do is climb up that, just go up that tree. Just, you know, just 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 just, just dangle, dangle your jacket for a little while. They love that a lot. <laughs> And he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Howdy, man! Well, you remember, he first told him to dangle his legs. Oh, yeah. We told him to dangle his legs, and he said, start dangling. Just dangle your jacket for a little bit. And he says, I'll be right back. That mother then come back to the next day. He left his ass up there for, tw- oh, he left his ass up there for 24 hours. 24 hours later? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's like, where the f*** you been? <laughs> and that's when Mativo, Mativo had enough. Mativo... When Hank got back, he said, F- you, these tigers, and your family, bitch. Fool yourself. Shut up. They are licking their bones clean. Shut up. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah maybe right, I should shut up. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. <laughs> you better be glad he is. <laughs> uh, the plot is when the family arrives. And first... It's kind of interesting because we see Tippy Hedren and our children coming in, and a young and a young Melanie Griffith, and uh, they introduce some uh, interesting subplots, uh, like Melanie Griffith is horny as. You know that your father and I were having problems, and we thought it would be better to be apart for a while. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Sex is all you think about lately, young lady. You'd better. Uh, yeah. So what? <laughs> Maybe you should too. And she which is what tell, she said. Which is what she <laughs> tell, She tells her that too. Someday I hope you'll understand the beauty of restraint and self-denial. 
Well, I hope it wasn't restraint and self-denial that drove Dad away. Bitch! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, her ass snapped. Sure did. Shit, I don't, I don't know if she can feel her legs anymore her neck snaps so hard. <laughs> Say that shit again. Yeah. How dare you? Shit. I'll leave you and all these yeah. <laughs> all, all those subplots are gone once they get to the to Hank's place. Dude, so many subplots. And just, <laughs> they get eaten by the lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit ain't around no more. It's, it's kind of... And when they get there, they, they, they try to do little clever things like Tippy Hedren. When she gets there, there's a... Uh, you might recognize what this is about if you are a true film person. That <laughs> not again. Yeah. And y'all say what well, it's just a bird. What the hell is wrong with a bird with all your lines around? Uh well if you know Tippy Hedren in our film history, then you know that she was in uh, Alfred Hitchcock's one of his uh one of his more horror or in oriented movies, The Birds. Birds just don't go around attacking people without no reason. Yes, they do. Bullshit, we do. <laughs> the children attack them. What's the matter with all the birds? Aiming right down the chimney. Why are they doing things? <laughs> because they can. <laughs> because we want to, that's why. That movie is kind of horrifying in some places. Oh, the movie's yeah. scary, yeah. Uh, but those birds ain't shit. When these lions, because what you saw, all these birds were busting through the door. Replace those birds with lions. <laughs> And that's what you got here. They get I'll the hang birds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Take those birds and those lines, man. They, the, the they get to Hank's house. The thing is, Hank is out. I don't know. What Hank is doing. I forget. He's gallivanting. Yeah. He's supposed to be trying to find the family. He's supposed to meet with the council. The council and all the committee and everything. But they, but they get there before uh, before Hank comes home, and uh, and when they get there, those lions have just killed a zebra. And they just in this kind of feeding frenzy right now, and they just go crazy and they just start busting into the house. Oh God! Look what the cat dragged in. Okay, they like all right. You got jokes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You got jokes. All right. And that's the <laughs> they say yeah. You got jokes until the line start. They. Stop focusing because you know there's only so much line, uh, zebra meat they had there. Once that zebra meat are gone, they start looking like, oh shit, what is this? Hey, yo, ooh, what else is on the menu? Jerry, John, John, no, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, John yeah, should have kept gone. up with everybody. John is grown. Yeah. Uh, to be Hedgen looks good. Yeah, oh, she looks yeah. actually. She looks amazing in this, man. She looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, and those so word gets out. Shit, this. So that's some new meat up in the house. <laughs> so they find us, and, they, and all those lions of tigers start showing up, and they just get the house surrounded. Gee. Look at his iron fist looking ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in there waiting on his ass. Going somewhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They start uh, hiding in lockers. Yeah, like, ooh, <laughs> where you going to find it? Bring that afro back over yeah. here. Lion was, you see a lion was licking his lips. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, keep running, just makes us hungry. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it turns into like the uh, an under siege movies. Like these lions got them on lockdown. This shit pretty much turns into Cujo, which lion, with, yeah. with lions. <laughs> I like the way they taking their target. They're like, he ain't going yeah, nowhere. Yeah, where's he gonna yeah. go? We're somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you here now? Cause it's funny when they first got there was one, then two, then four lines, and now it's yeah. nothing but wall to wall lines. Mm -hmm. Be funny, pull out a, some change and put it in there like a soda yeah. machine. <laughs> e five. <laughs> Here's the shitty thing about it, because they were all on his ass. Like, they really wanted him. Once they knocked that locker over, they just leave. Because <laughs> they know he can't get out. They just mm -hmm. with him now. Mm -hmm. Setting him up. Yeah, got these people so crazy, they about to kill themselves. Got one of them hiding in the refrigerator. And let me just remind you this. It's genuinely scary. Like, I was laughing before. I was wacky music and everything. And then I just, at this point, I just... Like th people, this turns into a horror movie. It's whether they know it or not. It's, it, it's disturbing because yeah. it, it is. It's scary like that, but they're not treating it that way. And you just want to scream like, D does nobody know what's happening yeah. here? Yeah, it, it gets it gets horrifying, y'all. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> been, like I'm re- like I'm, I'm 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 scared for this guy. I'm I'm, I'm sitting here sweating while I'm watching. I'm stressed out, man. But I will tell you this: the movie production wise is not put together that well. And I think I have a theory why because I mean they were working around these dangerous ass animals. Mm-hmm. And they had to like you know they just had to take what shots they had and kind of string them together as it went along. So it's not really cut together that well. Uh, the, a lot of the audio was off, man. Oh, the ADR, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, there's a lot of other, there's about two or three scenes where they ain't even trying to make the mouths match. But some of the best parts of editing and, and production on this is when they start treating it like a horror movie. <laughs> Yeah, you know that that's actually pretty suspenseful what they did right there. That's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it is. It's like you know it reminds me of Jurassic Park, the first one. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Where the yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. after them. Yep, exactly. Because they're just all over the place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. they're hiding and they're stepping on shit. Mm-hmm. And you know, and, th- and the thing is, and I even remember saying, I said, well, it could be a lot worse. At least Togar ain't here. Ah shit! It's <laughs> just what they say. His God name damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I had to say something. Who they call my name? <laughs> he just goes. That, yeah. That's what Togar does. Togar goes in and just starts slapping mother. Yeah, no reason. You see the one guy? He's like, oh, yeah. man, fuck. Okay, look, I'm just gonna let you go. Togar just waits for sit. He sits back and just waits for situations to get bad so he can make them worse. And, and here's the thing. All of them are running from Togar. Because right. <laughs> Togar, they, like, I would tell you this with these, with these lines. It looks scary, but all the lines are playing. But just the family didn't know that. You know, they just they say, hey, we know you with Hank. You cool. And they just playing around. You know, they, they, they know now to just, you know, not to hurt human beings. Togar don't know that shit, though. Then they're all running because they know Togar. When he's there, he's there for blood. Togar is there to kill Hank's family. Yeah, he's like, Hank going to learn to keep talking shit to me. Come back and find his family dead on the ground. <laughs> yeah, man. And the, rea- and the reactions from the actors, man. Here's, here's the thing. This is pitched as a family comedy. All of this shit is horrifying. And the reaction from the actors are horrifying. I don't know if some of this is they're actually scared. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they're actually scared, scared here. But I think, I think they're nervous. And it's definitely playing into their performance. <laughs> Kind of riding on what Billy says, right? After a while, the shit just turns into Jurassic Park because everything is trying to kill them. So there's a, oh yeah. There's a, there's an elephant there, and elephants are cool, man. But there's an elephant. One elephant is like, shit. You know, when everybody starts attacking, the elephant says, "Well, let me get some, let me let me get him on this party right here. Let me get some of that." And the lions run. <laughs> he's a, he ain't, hey, he's he in. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 we, we didn't know he was part of this. Yeah, he, he, you got it, man. <laughs> The elephant is like that that dude that gets drunk at the party and gets gets a little bit too wild. I think of it as you try to run away from something and somebody comes out and you think, oh good, somebody's gonna help me, and they're worse than what you ran. Right, oh yeah, right, right. no, everybody thinking about Dumbo and shit when they run out. Mm-hmm. The elephant is the worst one of all of them. The elephant goes harder than the lions. Yep, that, now, that, 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 that yeah. yeah, well, and that's uh, and if you notice, the film's reversed. That's how she, because right. she looked like Spider Man jumping up <laughs> <like> this. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I don't think all of it was supposed to be comedic. I mean, obviously, some of this was supposed to create a sense of suspense or dread or something for when you know, especially when uh, Tor- Togar comes in. Uh, but there are points in here where I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I, I don't know where comedy and, and, and suspense be, starts mm-hmm. and begins. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, and there's some points where I know that comedy is mixed in with horror and they don't fit. They don't need to be together here. Because uh, there's, there's parts here where people are truly horrified and they playing all this wacky ass music. Yeah. Like, it's they, like she's being raped. Yeah, right. Like, like, like yeah. they just like they like they they had sent up here tenderizing this family. Like, not, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this gets downright wacky. <laughs> and then no, followed up by 
about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. <laughs> and then, boom. Yeah. The matchup was happening. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah, anytime you, you, yeah, anytime you bring in a boing, you know, that, come on, man. Yeah, you know, like, that's when clowns come in and shit. Yeah. Like, you could play suspenseful music yeah. through this whole thing and it would work. Yes. Shit. Playing that boy, I thought one of them lines gonna start throwing pies and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rubber chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <my> now, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It don't. It don't. <laughs> it don't, The music don't even end right. Get the fuck off me, bitch! Get the fuck off me! They're fighting like. <laughs> The real horror comes in when the poachers come back and the poachers actually start taking animals out. Put a bandage on. Cartoon bandage? Yeah, you want me for y'all, man. Shit, man, he's like my ass. <laughs> <laughs> They look like he was drunk. Yeah, yeah. right? He should have had a bottle yeah, in his yeah, pocket yeah, when he yeah, came yeah, down. The other two just kind of were like, yeah. This one, yeah. That, yeah. that, that line's really yeah. Yeah. That, that line showed up to the set drunk. Yeah, been hitting that hooch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, y'all go leave Shit. me alone. I know how to climb. That yeah, was yeah. supposed to be a whole other scene. <laughs> I'm a thespian. Let me show you how a death scene <laughs> yeah. is done. <laughs> Shit, he's fed up. That's all legs on there. Yeah, yeah, that's what y'all want. But, you know, and. And it's messed up here, not because they're just killing animals, but because one, the the effect of killing these animals is not it's it's, it's bad, not very convincing. Right. Uh, you could tell that the they got these lines high. <laughs> <laughs> you got a dollar. That you, Simba? Yeah. That you over there? <laughs> that change. <laughs> Shit. Sometimes that nip be calling me, baby. <laughs> that nip be calling me. <laughs> calling me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like this. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he look like. Look, look at this. It's the last time, baby. Last time. I swear I'm a change. <laughs> look, we told you not to bring your ass back around here no more. We thought we made that clear. So now we're going to f*** you up again. This time, permanently. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh. hey, you see this? You next. <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> yes. Hey, stick around. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, look at that. Yeah, what the oh, fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, he he tore their asses up. This is, keep in mind, people, this is this is a family film. And yet you see Tor, uh, Tor, Tor, Torga or whatever the hell, Tor, Torgar, 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 you see Torgar walking away with a torso. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, ain't none of your goddamn business, Hank. <laughs> Stay the <laughs> back. What the fuck I tell you about how my name right there? Yeah. I, I mean, everything is just wrapped up like shit never happened. Like it was all a dream. That family just got just got that just got attacked that you saw hiding for their lives. They just they finally just say, we're dead. And they just fall asleep. And when they wake up, everybody's everybody's, everybody's cool. There you go. Everybody just needed a nap. Everybody just needed a rest. All hey, all good, y'all. And and then here's, and here's the thing. When I say it's all good, I mean, except for the poachers, and hey, they were assholes anyway, right? But everybody's good. Everybody, I mean everybody. Togar, he goes and starts one more fight and soon realizes that the whole reason for his aggressive behavior is because he's been grappling with his homosexuality the whole time. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah. once, once Togar realized, I'm just gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Yeah, you still like, but still, don't, but still don't, don't tell nobody yeah. about this, all right? 
everybody, the family acts like shit never happened. When Hank gets there, the, the, it ain't like, oh, you're right, like, Hank, where the f*** you been? Or Hank, <laughs> you, don't you ever do that stuff again? Everybody, they're just like, hey, Hank, where you been? Oh, we just been here playing with the lions and the tigers. It's cool. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, what do you think? You guys gonna stay a while? No, Dad, I don't have to be back to Chicago until next week. Shit, 30 minutes ago, you were screaming right. for your life. Like I'm gonna go home. At the end, everyone is, they, they live happily in harmony with all these creatures that almost killed them two hours ago. Still might slip away. Togo over there. <laughs> ah, people. Hey, it was all is forgotten. No big deal. Hey, go. and we go back to where it all began. With a, with a white guy appropriating shit. Hey, he took Africa before, now he's gonna take Jamaica. Echoes of voices. The whitest reggae you've ever heard. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey. yeah. <laughs> there are some voices. Eriman. Yeah. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blood clot. Am I right? Irie, Irie. <laughs> Baby. Oh. Got a loud suit on. Yeah. <laughs> With some dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody got any ganja in the house? Hey! <laughs> but people, that is it. That yeah, is it. it. Hey, it all worked out just fine. Poachers got got what they had coming to them. The family, <laughs> they finally liked the tigers and lions. They, they everybody's family themselves now. <laughs> Togar has found love. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. The only group is what made Bompa the band. Uh, I mean, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, not everything worked out. Not everything worked yeah. out. That was. There you go, folks. I gotta tell you, that is. Uh, that is the. Uh, uh, th this is one of the most incredible things I've seen. Man. It's a stressful movie to watch. 